Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you have your teacups ready, your seatbelts fastened, cause we're about to get into the cave story tea. Alright y'all, so as you guys know I've been talking about this game for years. I'm not gonna sit here and waste time talking about how much like I've known about this game and everything like that, but basically I found out about it in 2010 I think or 11. Um I found it on WiiWare. Remember when the fucking um the Wii Shop channel was still a thing? I found it on the Wii Shop channel or whatever. And it was a little free trial or whatever. So I played it and I fell in love with the free trial and I didn't get to play the full game until like I guess like two years later and I fell in love with it. So I've known about Cave Story for years and I really love this game. Um I've only beat it once because y'all this game is fucking hard. So hopefully I don't hopefully I don't pull a Chris and embarrass myself. But alright, first things first. How do I how do I I forgot how to Alright I wanna use the remaster soundtrack cause you know this is Cave Story plus of the shit or whatever. We can, <laughs> we can leave the graphics. Do I wanna, what I wanna do? Classic. Let's do this. Alright. And I'm gonna start a whole new file. Let's get into this, y'all. Hope you guys like this game. Alright. Here we go. Someone's transmission. Connecting the network. Logged on. Starting IM chat. Kazuma. Sue? Are you there? It's me. It's Kazuma. I was somehow able to escape, but I got lost. I'm in a shelter without anything inside. If you're reading this, please answer. Please? And here our story starts. Alright, so let me see. So this little heart container basically when you touch it, it'll um restore your health. Really fucking cookie. I'm telling you, this game gets hard. We have no weapon, so we have to go get one. Do you guys like the music in this game? I love it. Watch out for the enemies or whatever. And make sure you get these little heart capsules. Oh, life capsules, I'm sorry. Because they'll increase your max life. Whatever handout this game gives you, you better take it. Alright, this guy is asleep, so we're just gonna steal this weapon. We need some way to defend ourselves, you know. Someone's transmission. Searching for Sue. One Sue found. Kazuma. Sue! <laughs> Answer me! They're looking for you. Are you asleep or what? Your brother is so lonely. Aww. If my OGs are watching this, they already know who Sue is. We're gonna meet. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Bit, bit, bit! That's what I thought. The fuck? But um, we're gonna meet Sue pretty soon. So, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that, um, this game is supposedly inspired off of Metroid. I never played Metroid, but, um, playing games like this, honestly, it really, ooh, 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 ooh. it's honestly really such a huge throwback. I mean, this game came out in, I want to say 2000, damn, this came out many, I want to say 2003, I could be wrong, but this game is like hella old. Oh, shit, I forgot about you. Yeah, the door is an enemy. You gotta kill it. You know. Hold on. I'm gonna refill my health real quick. It's honestly really such a huge struggle. Enemies respawn. Pretty annoying. Right? But as you can see, these little triangles that um, drop out of the enemies, it's basically experience points for your weapon. And it makes your weapons stronger and upgraded so you can kick some ass. Alright, Kazuma. Come on, Sue. Type something, will you? Starving over here. I'm so hungry that 
that I even ate a cockroach. LOL, just kidding. But just so you know, if I get to that point, I'll do it. Mimiga Village. Oh my god. This is such, oh my, sorry y'all, the nostalgia. I remember playing this for the first, you know what, I'm not even gonna do it. Give me the key. Oh, and can I just say, I love the fact that in this version of the game, I'm playing on the Switch, by the way, just so you guys know, I'm playing the um, Switch version. They made the little icons animated. It's not much, but to see him blinking is honestly so cool. Give me the key. No way. Are you trying to protect that Sue girl? She's an outsider. Sue is a good person. I won't betray Sue. Taroko, the next time that the doctor shows up, someone else will be taken away. If Sue isn't turned in, you could be in danger. But, just hand over the key. Ooh. Listen, I did not mean to do that. Uh, are you okay? What? You're not an enemy? I thought you were one of them. My name is King. I'm the number one in this village. Though I say number one, it doesn't really mean much. There's, there are only six of us left in the village. Well, really... Including Sue is seven, but she's not one of us. She's just an outsider that came to our village. Oh, That's Hiroko. She took advantage of the commotion and escaped. Mm. Anyways, y'all. By the way, I really, really like him, by the way. <laughs> but um, this is Mimiga Village. This is where the Mimiga live. They're like rabbit. I think they're like rabbit people. Yamashita Farm. If my memory serves me correctly, there should be another life that- Yup. I love the music in this game so much, it's so fucking good. Cave Story is a really great game. I'm surprised it's not more, uh, popular than it is. Cause I feel like people barely know what this game is. This is the farm where we grow flowers. My job is to protect this farm. To us, Mimiga, these flowers are a precious source of food. But not the red flowers. I heard that if we eat the red flowers, our blood pressure skyrockets and we'll die in an instant. Lord, okay, well let's not fucking don't eat those. Fortunately on this farm we don't grow those vile red flowers. Okay, good. Damn. Red flowers. Who are you? Mmm, gold? Jeez, you scared me, Sue? Oh. You mean the girl staying at Arthur's house, right? She lives together with Taroko. That girl's a real cutie. She must be looking for f flying dragons. Wonder if there really is such a thing. Dragons that fly in the sky. Sue is looking for dragons. We need to find- we need to find my girl Sue, y'all. We need to find my girl Sue. Hello. The name's Jack. I'm the number two in the village. Beyond here is Mimiga Cemetery. There, our hero, Arthur, rests eternally in peace. What am I doing here? Mushrooms have taken over Mimiga Cemetery, so I'm keeping watch to make certain that they don't come into the village. Oh, okay. Alright, enough wasting time. Let's go progress the story. So we need to go here first. This is the reservoir. Something shines brightly. Obtain the silver locket. Thank you. Oh, hopefully I don't die. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, hi, Taroko. Why? <laughs> Why are you running from me? Wait, hold on. What does this guy have to say? I think his name is... Ooh. I think his name is, um, Kampachi. How do I... Oh, my God. I'm trash. There we go. There we go. You're Kenpachi, right? Sue? Yeah, Sue. That cute girl who's always hiding inside Arthur's house. Only, only I think she's fucking cute. She recently came to Mimika Village. She fell into the reservoir there. I don't think she's very fond of us. It seems like she hates everyone in the village, but she's a Mimika. Same as the rest of us. I'm sure she don't really hate y'all. Hand over that key. No! Oh my god. King, stop letting her fucking topple you over! <laughs> Ugh, Toriko, don't underestimate me. Stop letting her fucking destroy you! Yo, 
you jerk. <laughs> um, girl, girl, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, up, I'm right, I'm right here. <laughs> girl, Taroko. Oh, help me, help me. Uh, you're not the doctor, girl. No. Oh, sorry about that. The doctor is such a cruel and evil person. He shows up in the village and kidnaps Mimiga, at times even killing someone. Oh my god, he's trash. The doctor, he killed my older brother. Oh my god, what? That pendant, you picked it up for me? Sue gave it to me. But I don't want it anymore. You don't want it. King gets bent out of shape when Sue and I get along. Please keep it. I don't need it. She gave it to you. But I'm really sorry about your brother, girl. I really am. Oh, yeah! I found you! It's no use hiding from me. I've got the nose of a clever harrier. Indeed. Yes, he has the nose and the brain of a dog. <laughs> Misery! I found her first! You two, you're with the doctor! You must be Sue. The great doctor has summoned you. That's not Sue! Come along with me. Huh? But I'm not Sue. That's not Sue, girl! That's not Sue! Borog, the rest is up to you. I'm the wrong person! I told you! That's not Sue. Not this again. I always have to clean up. And I'm the one who found her, not Misery. So what's up? You wanna fight me with that little pea shooter? Uh, I'ma fuck you. Let's go. Understood. Let's go, bitch. Bitch! Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't, don't fuck me. Big, big ass fucking bitch. Tanisha! Don't fucking touch me, Tanisha! 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 <laughs> Tanisha, get away from me. Tani oh, Tanisha! Tanisha tried to eat me, y'all! Oh, <laughs> Tanisha! Don't fucking do it, bitch. I will fuck you up. Tanisha? Tanisha Thomas. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'll remember this. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Defeated Borog. I actually like Borog, though, y'all. I like him. He's... <laughs> He, he's a fucking character. Alright, so... Fucking misery. Alright, so the doctor has been in this fucking village basically cat kidnapping these fucking Mimiga and killing them. Why? We're just gonna have to fucking see. And they've been looking for Sue. And they fucking took Taroko thinking that she's fucking Sue. You fucking dumbasses. She told you she's the wrong one. Like, if you're gonna fucking kidnap somebody, kidnap the right fucking person. Sue, I'm- I, Listen, Sue, I don't have beef with you. Arthur's house key. There should be at least one more copy somewhere. Taroko, she feigns ignorance. I wonder, maybe Jack would know something. Um, King, Taroko's gone. What did you say? Taroko's been kidnapped? That's terrible. We have to inform King. Yeah, leave the cemetery unguarded. <laughs> So we can get the house key. Alright, this is the cemetery, y'all. We have to go to Arthur's grave, which is um Taroko's older brother. That was killed by the doctor, bitch. Get your ass the fuck. Fucking ugly ass. Alright. Um, that's Taroko's older brother that was killed by the fucking doctor. Shoot the fuck. Woo! I really like the music that play in the cemetery too. Cave Story honestly has a really good soundtrack. I highly recommend you guys listen to it. Here it is. Arthur's grave. Something is written on the headstone. Here rests the true Mimiga hero, Arthur. Found Arthur's key. Why they left his house key at his grave? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Not Taroko too. Taroko's older brother Arthur was our strongest warrior, but he was killed by the doctor himself. I wasn't even able to protect Taroko. King, it wasn't your fault, and it's really, it's really not your fault because if y'all got, if you guys don't know, Mimiga are um pretty weak physically. I mean, obviously they're fucking rabbits. They're not that strong, so there's really not much I could have did. 
Now, as you guys remember earlier, the guy at the farm said that they don't grow the red flowers. These are the red flowers in question that he was talking about. Flowers? And apparently something really bad happens to the Mimika when they eat the flowers, so... Please stay away from those! Kazuma. But just so you know, if I get to that point, I'll do it. Allow transport- Allow teleportation to A corridor? So, Kazuma is Sue's older brother. So Sue is here! Where is she going? She went to the A corridor? Let's go! A corridor now accessible via teleport. It's a teleporter. Let's go, y'all, to the first level! Oh my god, the music here is so good. Alright. Watch out for that little white thing moving back and forth down below, that little bitch. His touch is as deadly as it gets, and he's not lying. One touch, and I think will obliterate you. Dumbass little bitch. Oh my god, this music gets me hyped up every time I hear it. I love the soundtrack of Cave Story. So you guys, I'm gonna try and be consistent with my uploads with this game, because oh my god. Playing this makes me so happy. Mind you, I've played this game so many times. I've played the Wii version. I've played the 3DS version. I've played the regular um PC version. And now here I am playing the fucking Switch version. Oh, who's that? There you are, you monster. You don't scare me. Ooh. Ooh. What? You want some of this? Take your best shot. Even my big brother has never beaten me. <laughs> oh, God, girl. Ouch, you got me. Sorry, I'm sorry. Are you Sue? Huh? Who are you? All right, you already, all right, all right. You can stop. You can stop. You can stop. What are you trying to prove? Guys, I think that might be Sue. I think that might be Mistake. Cthulhu's abode. Let's talk to him. Hey, this is highly unusual. You're a soldier from the surface, are you not? Where's your blonde pal? What? You lost your memory. <laughs> okay, those green things, they're called um, Cthulhu. And uh, what they are, your guess is as good as mine. No one knows. Obtain the life capsule. I think the only thing known about them is that they've been around for many, many, many years. We gotta be really careful. <laughs> and by the way, you guys, um, I've played this game countless times. But, um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember everything about it, so if I make mistakes here and there, don't judge me. I think I remember what we have to do here, though. Come on. Come on, what's good, bitch? You big ass. Get out of here. Yeah, the Polar Star, when it's on level 3, as you can see, it's way stronger. You didn't even touch- Alright, you did, you did. I can't even say you did. <laughs> but when it's at level 3, it's way stronger. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh no! Redo, redo. I'm a failure, you guys. I'm a failure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like I said, don't judge me. Alright, that won't be happening again. But, um, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. When I first got, like, into this game, I was really surprised that I liked it so much because... I usually don't enjoy games like this. I mean, I feel like if I ever played Metroid, I wouldn't like it. But I love Cave Story. I really enjoy the game. The gameplay is a little bit hard for me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh... So, like I said, if I make mistakes, don't judge me. Do we have to go in here? I think we do. Yes, we do. Okay, hold on. There's a note here. I can't really get any closer to the observa observation room because of the shield. There should be a terminal that can remove the shield somewhere. Red flower petals go to the floor. Oh my 
about? Who was, who was, who was eating them red flowers? Open the treasure chest. Obtain the missile launcher. Oh my god, yes. The missile launcher is basically another weapon. It's really, really powerful, but like they said, it has limited ammo. So you have to collect ammunition for it. And from now on, now that we have it, um, enemies are now going to drop ammunition for the missile. What the fuck? Flying dragon egg number one. Egg stasis of normal. Examine further. Alright, number six. We need to go examine um, egg number six and number one. Go. All right, where's egg number? Oh, get the fuck out of here! All right, egg number six. Right. Oh shit! I don't want to get. I don't want this bitch touching me. Yeah, get out of here. All right. Oh, get stop touching. Egg number six is right there. Please, I'm gonna wait for it. No, no! I'm a failure, y'all. I'm a failure. Go ahead, take the wig. I'ma just give y'all the wig. Take it. Take it. Snatch it. Obtain the ID card. That's why they told us to come to egg number six. But uh, honestly, take the wig, y'all. Take it. Go ahead. Y'all can, y'all can have it. All right. So now that we have the ID card, please don't fall into the thing with the thing. Now that we have the ID card, we can go and ooh, I don't trust that. I don't trust that. Hold on, I don't, I don't, really, I don't, I don't feel comfortable with that at all. I don't. We have to go into egg number one. I don't trust this little bitch. Fuck you. You're a fucking piece of shit, and you're not killing me again. Go, 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 go. Jump. <laughs> all right. Insert the ID card, and that shield that's blocking the way will be removed. Now all we gotta do... Go back over here and move on. Where's Sue? What did you do to her? Why? Professor's very important test eggs. Very important. Won't let anyone near them. Oh my god, I don't want the test eggs! I just wanna... Listen, listen, stop. Stop it. Calm down. Don't try and punch me. Calm your ass down, sir. 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 Yeah, that didn't work out. That didn't work out. Defeated Igor. Um, so, as you can see, he's a Mimiga. I wish they would tell you who he is, where he came from, some of his backstory, but you never find out. It won't open, okay? Egg number zero. Hi, Sue. And, oh my god, the song that plays here is amazing. It's called Pulse. 10 out of 10. Hi, Sue, you okay? Ugh. Ouch. Whoa there, I haven't lost yet. I'm gonna take it serious now. Huh? I got knocked out by that monster? Did you save me? I did. This is none of your business. I can take care of myself. I hate this island and every living thing on it. Girl. Oh, this this must be it. Egg number zero. We can get off the island with this egg. Egg condition is normal. Awesome. Hmm? Huh? A password? It looks like I need a password to hatch this egg. Meh. If my big brother were here, he'd fix everything. There's nothing to do here, I guess I'm out. Um, are you from this island? You don't seem like you are. The letters on your cap aren't from here. Maybe you're lost? Fine, I'll let you come with me. We can get off this island together if you want. But in return, you're gonna have to help me. Alright you guys, I'm gonna- wait, hold on, I wanna see what the computer says. Flying dragon egg number zero. Hatching preparations complete. Input password. Oh damn. Like she said, we need a password. So basically, Sue wants to get the dragon so that she can fly off the island with her brother. She hates this island, and we'll find out why as we play the game, but 
I'm gonna end part one off here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll try and be back with part two real soon. Cave Story is a really special game to me, so I hope you guys are gonna, you know, enjoy this series as much as I enjoy this game. And yeah, I'm gonna leave y'all off with that. Bye.